Ooh, ooh, it's an awkward potion. Raw salmon, cooked salmon. Raw chicken, cooked chicken. Raw rabbit, cooked rabbit. Raw mutton, cooked mutton. Raw beef, steak. This mob was a mistake. No one has ever used, or will care about, a luck potion. You scare me. This item has been in the game for eight years and has no use at all. A bucket can hold lava perfectly fine and still burns in it somehow. Ugh, these cactuses are taking up so much room. Luckily, they fit in this somehow. Speaking of which, this ghast can fit in that. Yeah, that, that, seems, that seems about right to me. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, he agrees. Okay, okay, okay. I can understand how a beacon shines through glass. That makes sense. This this also makes sense. It tints. That that makes perfect sense. But can you explain this? Like what's even going on here? Maybe. No, no. What? And then this mind blown. can't place water in the nether, but you can in a cauldron. So, so let me get this straight. What you're saying is, I can smelt stone for smooth stone, and I can smelt stone bricks for cracked stone bricks. Yeah, it makes sense. So, Mojang, you're telling me this is the same height as this. Yeah, looks about right. So, coal ore drops coal. Diamond ore drops diamond. Emerald drawer drops emeralds. And, and then golden iron just dropped the ore, what? So, anvils can crush players. But they can't crush flowers. One meter of water stops all fall damage. And one meter of lava doesn't. An upside down minecart is just a helmet. Why can't I ride in this thing then? Excuse me, what? For whatever reason, one snow layer doesn't change your wire level, and every single one after that does. Yep. Wow, it's been a long day. I can't wait to go back home and just I take a nap after all that work. Thank you, Minecraft. Very cool. So, obsidian takes years to mine. But then blocks with obsidian in their crafting recipe take, like, two seconds? I mean, I'm not complaining. Three snow layers in a daylight sensor look exactly the same height down to the pixel, but one is actually an eighth of a block higher than the other. Same thing with seven on the ender chest. Same pixel height, I don't see any difference, but wait, the ender chest is somehow taller. What? While it is super convenient, there is no way some blocks are able to float in water. But again, I'm not complaining. Speaking of physics... Care to explain how this one works, Mojang? Iron golems actually require a carved pumpkin to make, but don't have one of their designs, surprisingly enough. Four snow layers is not even close to the size of a block, and yet you can mine those snow layers and make a block! This isn't a quirk, but mining fatigue absolutely sucks.
Good work. All right, where did the extra wood go? Who has it? This used to be a full block. So a block is two slabs, right? That makes sense. That that's a, that's a block. Two blocks is three carpets. These things are a pixel high. What happened to all the wool? Where'd it go? Let's just take a moment to thank Mojang for the chain mail armor crafting recipe. Very cool. Creepers and phantoms are absolutely mortified of cats. They're freaking out. Look at the poor fella. He's gonna explode. There you go. And there you go. Nope. That's a problem. Nope. Nope. I could watch this all day. Okay, maybe I'm being a little picky. But someone please explain how my arm is this long. I mean, how do I reach it from here? How am I punching this? When you think about it, this arm is barely one block long. How am I... Oh no, I want to break the sleeve, but it's so high up. If only I had a block to use. I only have a door. I can't stand on a door. Oh wait, Minecraft's a quirky game. Because guess what? I can do this. And now I'm on top. Thank you, Minecraft. Very cool. I didn't ask for this either. Yeah. This video is a joke, okay? Bye, I love you. Thanks for watching.